Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 19th of August 2022 and there's a few bits of news catching my attention. The first thing, probably going to go up in levels of seriousness here, um, but the Edinburgh Festival is on at the moment and apparently a certain musical show on that has had to be cancelled because two different groups of musicians in that show were arguing about face nappies. A Scottish choir uh, didn't want to wear them and another group of musicians did want to wear them and uh, so that particular show has been cancelled apparently and um, I don't know how people or a choir are expected to sing with face naps on but that is the bizarre world we're living in, in at the moment isn't it and following on from that now you remember the dreaded november hotel sierra um pass lurgy pass as it's well kind of called and we thought that had been scrapped. Well, apparently it's ticking over in, um, you know, quietly in certain places. And it's used as a form of ID when you're flying out to certain countries who want to see proof of V. And because there's still a few of those countries around, sadly. So the likes of you and me can't go to them. So the discrimination continues. But apparently the whole um, Lurgy Pass database thing went down um, for a few hours, whenever it was, yesterday or the day before. And there were people trying to check in at the airport to go to these various countries who couldn't check in. And do you feel sorry for those people? Um, because I don't know if I do, you know. I don't feel sorry for them at all. Because I said in a video many months ago that even if you've been veed and you've got your sort of, uh, pass, there's gonna be times when the pass doesn't work. You know, the, the records have been screwed up or uh, you know, the system goes down or something and it will be at the most inconvenient time when you sort of like trying to check in uh, to a flight or something at the airport and then you're going to be screwed. And I, I said that was going to happen. That sort of thing would happen uh, a good six months ago, you know, nine months ago, whenever it was, a long time ago. And sure enough, it's happening. And these people have just got themselves to blame because if they didn't support uh, tyranny and these draconian type of freedom restricting measures, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? But by the fact that they've got the V pass thing and they're using it, they are kind of supporting the system and therefore, you know, they deserve everything they get. What they should be doing is just uh, boycotting any country that requires proof of E and just going to one of the many countries that don't now. Um, so I'm sorry, I've got no sympathy for those people. Harsh, I know, but they are supporters of totalitarianism and therefore, you know, they need to learn a lesson in my book. Uh, so the third bit of news is according to the science editor, I think she is in the Telegraph, um, well, she wrote a piece saying how there's a thousand deaths a week more than usual going on at the moment. And uh, she was saying that basically, well, she is putting it down to um, lockdowns, you know, people, you know, committing lockdown suicide, uh, not getting treatments they needed to get um, because of the lockdowns and everything, you know, delayed treatments and all the rest of it, and putting these thousand extra deaths a week down to that. Um, so, 
it's good to see that this kind of thing is being discussed by the mainstream media. Um, although there's a certain omission there, isn't there? Because I think there's another source of these deaths as well. Um, but I think the headline or the main point of it was, the, the article was, uh, there's basically going to be more uh, deaths through um, non lurgy causes, you know, more excess deaths through non lurgy causes than through the lurgy itself. So people are at least waking up to that. They just need to do a little bit more waking up, don't you think? And kind of following on and linking on to that, Lorraine went out to lunch the other day with a work colleague who she hasn't seen for a while. And the reason why she hasn't seen this work colleague is because she, this work colleague's off um, ill. A few months ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and she's been pretty poorly. She had an operation this week and has been on uh, chemo and uh, all the rest of it. Now, I believe this lady's about my kind of age and yes, of course, people of that age do get uh, you know, the ailment, uh, sadly, but she was previously a healthy woman. And this isn't me saying this, this is her. I think it sounds like reading between the lines that she suspects um, that her cancer was caused by something. I won't uh, sort of mention the thing by name, but you can guess. And to use her words, um, I think she's been doubled, had two of them. And she has said, I'm not going to have any more of that S, swear word that starts with S, put into my body. So it sounds like she recognises that it is a load of S and I think she probably suspects that her illness is somehow linked to it. Um, that's obviously not 100% because women in their late 50s do get that ailment and they have been for many years, many decades, um, you know, what have you. But, you know, um, she suspects that that might be the case. And it's interesting, Lorraine sort of said that she, this lady said to her, um, you know, because you haven't been um, sort of uh, uh, treated at all, have you? You haven't had any of them. And Lorraine just sort of said no. And then, yeah, yeah then this lady says, well, you know, you seem to be okay. So I, I think people like her are sort of looking at the unveed and sort of th starting to think to themselves, hang on a minute, they, they all seem to be okay. And whereas, you know, a lot of us aren't. You know, a lot of us are either getting uh, the lurgy again or things worse th than the lurgy. So at least that particular lady seems to be sort of aware of the situation and I don't think she's an isolated case by any means. I think there's a lot of them out there. But I thought that was a very interesting uh, thing and Lorraine wasn't probing at all. She wasn't asking her that, you know, this lady was coming out with all of this stuff of a sort of own free sort of will, as it were, uh, without really any input from Lorraine at all. So very interesting, I thought. And on that thought, um, I'm going to leave it for now. I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fairfay now. Thanks for watching.